All right, guys. Um, let's talk about Roman Reigns turning a baby face is a bad idea. So here we go. There has been articles and a video from WrestleMania saying that WWE has plans to make Roman Reigns a baby face after he lose the titles somewhere at WrestleMania time zone or before WrestleMania. Um, like he might lose somewhere at 2023 pay-per-view before WrestleMania or doing WrestleMania. If they decide to take off the belts from him before WrestleMania or during WrestleMania. Uh, after that, he he's no longer this powerful tribal chief character. He's no longer um, the top dog anymore. He's no longer the main tribal chief of SmackDown. Someone has dethroned him and ruined his table, head of the table, and he lost that table and he needs to recuperate and fix that table that he used to sit on and fixed it and realized that he needs the fans and support from others to recuperate and bring back the head of the table that he used to sit on as that table has been overturned by someone else. Um, people want Cody Rose to end Roman Reigns' reign as champion that might happen, we'll see. Um, then they turn him babyface since 2016. Okay, they, they make him a babyface since 2016 to 2017 time so This is a bad idea. I want to tell you why. Roman Reigns has been negative during his face run. Um, when he defeated The Undertaker, he was filled with hateful um, comments like, Screw you, Roman. I hope Roman Reigns die and stuff like that, you know. And um, Roman Reigns has been getting ton of hate mails the other day as well. 2015 Royal Rumble was filled with cancellation of the Dirty Network at the time. It recorded, I think, somewhere at 1 million subscribers were canceling the Royal Rumble 2015 on Twitter and canceling their Dirty Network subscription. I think it was trending number one at the time, Dirty Network cancellation. Um, trending page um, because people wanted Daniel Bryan to have his moment and headline Wrestlemania 31 not Roman Reigns because this was supposed to be the second year of the Bryan year the yes Chan year the second year after Wrestlemania 30 um, fortunately Roman Reigns won and The Rock was passing the torch to Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble. The Big Show and Kane knew that that the ending was ruined. Even Danny O'Brien told Vince McMahon, Are you sure you want to go with Roman Reigns winning the Royal Rumble? Making him win. Not sure this is a good idea. I mean, The Rock is here. But people want me to win. Now Roman Reigns. So you're telling me all of these guys have to lose to make sure that Roman Reigns headline WrestleMania 31, even though people may not like him, that this is also my ear, supposedly. Listen, Roman Reigns cannot go back as a baby face. Okay, Roman Reigns does not need support from America. He has support in India and the Middle East. He doesn't need American fans 
to be positive. He is a heel in this country. He's hated by some fans. People think he's boring. These are the American Canadian audiences, okay? The Indian audience don't care about him destroying Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, or Matt Riddle. They will still love this man no matter what. The bloodline is successful because it's about brotherhood. In India, it's about brotherhood as well. That's why Roman Reigns and the Usos are positive in India and Saudi Arabia and other parts of the Asia and the Middle East. The Rock was a baby face when he joined the WWE back in 1996. But there has been some racist fans during that time pulling up signs like Rocky die, Rocky die signs. The Rock knew there was some type of racism in the WWE. And Roman Reigns is also experiencing that as well. Majority of these sounder people don't like Roman Reigns, okay? I have seen many American children crying for Matt Riddle, okay? Because he's an American man. If he was a black person like um, Kofi Kingston, no one would cry for Kofi Kingston, these kids, because he's black, in my opinion. Um... That's just my opinion. These fans can be racist sometimes, you know. Every sports team has their own bad side, you know. In basketball, there's racism towards blacks. And I believe wrestling still has that type of racism. The Rock turned heel because Vince McMahon knew the racism of the WWE fans at the time. So that's why he told The Rock... Why not? We have an idea that you grew up with a bunch of African Americans or African culture um, gimmick with Farouk, Mark Henry, and D'Lo Brown called the Nation of Domination, a black staple tag team that fights against racism because he knew that The Rock would never get pushed because of his skin color, okay? That's why The Rock was a bad guy, okay? He didn't like the fans because Vince McMahon knew there was a ton of racist fans that did not like The Rock when he first entered the WWE because of his skin color, okay? It's about fans' reception. It's about race. I know the Neuros did not like Roman Reigns at Wells, okay? You must be thinking, what race got to do with Roman Reigns being negative? Why why, why do you think the fans hate Roman Reigns because of his skin? It's because of his skin, okay? No one will cry for Kofi Kingston if he had attacked the same way as Matt Riddle. None of these kids will care, okay? Hulk Hogan said that he grew up in a racist neighborhood as well. So, I know this is not about Roman Reigns' baby face turn, but the fans just not approve Roman Reigns. People think that he's shoving them at their throat. I have seen some people say that Roman Reigns is boring. Roman Reigns isn't a good heel like Triple H because he's a Chin C wrestler that makes no sense whatsoever. And uh, I guess Damien Priest suck as a heel because he's a Chin C. He would never be like Triple H. Of course not. He would never be like Triple H or Edge to the 2000s. Monsters, sadistic people. But this is um, a new generation. This is the PG era. This is not AEW that MJF have to torture, torture CM Punk with a dog. Um, ch um, chain or or torture, um, to torture porn from Michael Ch Jacob Freeman, no, Freewell, Maxwell, sorry, MJF, torture porn against Warlow, disgusting. Nobody wants to see that. 
Um, CM Punk and John Moxley all bloody matches. Chris Jericho doing this evil wizard gimmick that makes no sense whatsoever. Or McKinley and Black being the sadistic evil Luminati net member. Roman Reigns doesn't have to do this type of stuff to gain attention. All he needs to do is be cocky, do well in the mic, and make sure that a bunch of kids cry. Because if you make kids cry, then you're already a monster. Okay? He doesn't need this violent action. He doesn't need to make his skin color dark black, evil looking character like Bray Wyatt. He doesn't have to do this type of stuff. All he needs to do is act in real self. And that's how it works. The Undertaker was a good heel. He doesn't need to bring back his demon persona. Brock Lesnar. All he needed to do is just beat up regular skinny man. He's already a monster. He doesn't need to be some evil demon with a mask. Kane was scary. He doesn't have sharp teeth. He doesn't have horns around his mask. All he needs is to have a scary background that he got burnt and wear a mask. And that's it. He doesn't need to talk very evil stuff in his personality. But Roman Reigns going babyface is a bad idea. Why? Because we're ruining his tribal chief character, his his charisma. He might do some corny jokes again. And the fans are still racist against him because he's different from some white wrestlers like Kevin Owens, um, Finn Balor, Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, and Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle... Uh, was mixed by neuro fans. But in America, he's loved because American people think he's, as long as he has brown hair, light brown hair, he is a good person, okay? John Cena is popular because he's white, okay? If John Cena was black like Darren Young, I don't think many children would love John Cena, okay? White kids, mostly. The black kids will love John Cena. But the white kids will not be a fan of John Cena. Um, Cena Punk is white as well. When Mark Henry won the World Heavyweight Championship, he was a black heel. He wasn't a baby face. He was a black heel, okay? The Rock as well was a heel. He was a black heel. He won the tag championship as a heel. He didn't win as a good guy. He won as a heel. Okay? People hated The Rock at those times. Now people love him because he's a Hollywood star and and people's views on black people has changed a bit. But Roman Reigns he's not white and people don't like him as much. If he were white Maybe he will have had fans here. Think about it. Just think about that. I know this is not about race. This is about Roman Reigns becoming a baby face. Roman Reigns being baby face means it's over. His tribal chief characters will be stale. No longer works anymore. Because now he's sucking up to the people again. To his matches will be different. He has to fight clean now. Number three, the bloodline must discontinue. He must go solo. The bloodline is working very well. Four, um, he will not have the same fans um, reaction from India. People in America would still not like this man at all. One, his skin color. Two, people think he's overrated. Three, shorter throats again back in 2000. 17 and 18 and 19 and 20 before he decides to come back to the WWE because of this horrific events that might affect his health. Leukemia. Some people think he doesn't have leukemia. He faked it. Um, I'm not so sure that they would 
do that. If he did, then oops, bad idea. But then again, he had leukemia a long time ago, so it's not fake. It's not, I don't think that they would go that low. He had leukemia before, so I don't think it's fake at all. So what do you guys think? Roman Reigns should go back baby face or stay as a bad guy. Do not listen to the fans. Just ignore them. He could try to have some fans, but some people would not like him. Just like some people on social media. You have a couple of friends, but there's some people that hate you and be jealous of what you succeed in life. I have some haters. They think I post stupid questions. Some people think I act stupid. I have bad grammar. But I just ignore them because they just have less subscribers than me. Everyone has haters. Even millionaires have haters. I mean, I don't like Mr. Beast, but I'm not part of his hate group. I don't care about Mr. Beast. Um, I don't want Super Mario and Loki anymore. I'm a hater of him, no. But I don't like his new videos. But that doesn't mean I'm a hater. Um, so yeah, I have haters, everyone has haters, everyone's jealous, even rich people has haters. Look at LeBron, he has ton of haters, people hate him with a passion, people want him to die, people think he killed Kobe Bryant, but in the end, we are human beings, and fortunately, we have to deal with hate. If you're a rich person, you don't care, you don't care. But if they're racist fans, of course, they're going to affect you. Roman Reigns has racist fans as well. And uh, I hope Roman Reigns does well. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the inside. Peace.